damn near forgot, almost forgot to record this. That's not, uh, that's not going to be good. But yeah. No. No, 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 no. No. I wanted to start with the first day, not the last day. God damn it. Amazing start. Amazing start. Alright. Prologue time. December 9th. Good evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. Hmm? What about Gail? He mumbled something about halls and pests and asked for a couple of days off. Business as usual, then. I might have forgot to use the D-pad. It's just weird, because every game uses the uh, the uh, the analog stick, but no, this game uses the D-pad for some reason. Not quite. How so? I mean, no, it's not Gale. Business will be a tad different throughout the weekend. He got booked. Oh, that's a new one. Who made the booking? They say Fair Toy Company. They make dogs, uh, toys for dogs. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to deal with that dog party, don't we? Oh, crap. It's an anniversary or something like that. We usually don't reserve the bar. Why do we this time? The clients are adorable. Excuse me. You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call you if you call me if you need me. Sure. Well then. Oh okay, guys, so, so this is the prologue that I haven't done yet. Maybe I should have started with this. Thinking about it. But yeah. I can tell but that the game didn't start with it then. But yeah, let's see what's up here. Time to make drinks and change lives. Lord Bumplerump. Alright. Mm, excuse me, I'll have a grizzly temple. Hello. A dog. A talking dog. Uh, you were to say fair toy company. Yes. Did I arrive too early? No. The clients are adorable. Son of a bitch. Grizzly temple right, coming right up. I do remember her saying that it was a deja vu when a dog was asking for a grizzly temple. So I guess it was in reference to this. One of those, find it. Doesn't matter, it's bonus content, I guess, but I mean it would have been better if I started off with this, because it got it got referred to a few times. There you go. Thanks. This is gonna be a long long weekend, isn't it? Ariel <laughs> Ariel Wiener done. Hey, is this a bronze and extract here? Is the bronze and extract here produced in using organic roots? I don't know that information. Anyone I can talk to about that? Here? Right now? No. But you should have that information on hand. Every PTC certified bar is no different from the fast food chain. We get the same supplies as everyone else. Ask PTC officials if you want to know. But you should... But we don't. But... Saying that we shoot over and over is not going to change reality. Give me something with lots of bronze and extract then. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Is that going to be beer by any chance? Two, two, one. I think, I think it's going to be this one. And thank you for your uh, subscription, Alinash. And good evening. Or afternoon for you, I guess. Or I do all climb it. Give it something with none in it just to spy them. Yeah. Here. What the hell is this? Your order. This is what Bronson extract tastes like? Sorta, of, yeah. Well, fuck that noise. It's not worth the effort. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, no it's not. Excuse me. I oh, thank god, a person. Well, as much of a person as a designated driver can be. What I mean is, why are there so many dogs? Why dogs? Why? 
Well, the Korg has created the Safe Fire Door Company and they've been doing a great job, so. A switch messing up or is your connection bad? Um. I'm not getting any feedback about lost uh, frames, so I think it's on your side. Okay, Melon can confirm that. Well, the Korg is. Uh, right. The company is run exclusively by dogs, really? And a good one at that. Their only problem is that they have not so discreet preference for hiding corgis, hiring corgis exclusively. Why? Something about being more comfortable around your own kind. Are you with them? Well, I do prefer corgis, but... No, I mean, are you working with them? Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Does the law really cover such scenarios? Why take a job like this? Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. Designated driver, Rose aside, is the closest thing to heaven. Although, to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyway. I see. Well, each of their own. Are you going to drink anything? Do you have anything non-alcoholic? Let's see what I can fetch you. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. Because he said fetch, and dogs do fetch. Um, I know some drinks here have no alcohol in them, so... Thanks. Are you sure this isn't alcoholic? Pretty sure. Okay. Listen, I need to know, is it really going to be only corgis today? Is that all I'm going to do all night? Serve the same kind of dog over and over? The vast majority of them are Pembroke Wiles corgis. There are a couple of Cardigan Wiles corgis, but the relationship between the two breeds is a tad difficult, so the Cardigans weren't invited. So yeah, I guess you'll be serving the same kind of dogs all night. No, I mean, isn't there some other human I might talk to today? There's a woman on staff, but she couldn't come today. Oh boy. Is it a problem somehow? It's not really a problem, we've survived worse than this. Like the time run in AA... Uh, oh. Like the time when an alcohol... Um, alcohol anonymous meeting came here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only. But just thinking about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. And that at some point, all the choices in my life led to me serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. It's one of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going. Do you perhaps not like this job? I do, I love every second of this job, but... Dogs! It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. I still don't see why your problem is with dogs, but I'm not going to force the subject. Well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. The stuff of playing pool is underneath the table. There are also dots in the box next to the jukebox. Great, thanks for the information. Call if you need another drink. Sure. Ugh, Lady Banner. I'm feeling happy, so I'll give everyone a round. Actually, it's a free bar. I'm not just for my mood, I'm with a fringe weaver. Coming right up. <laughs> Dog wants a fringe weaver. I should have seen this coming, to be honest, that it's going to be uh, the dogs in the, pro the prologue, because I got mentioned. There you go. Still an awesome day. <laughs> his name is Dragon- Why the hell is his name Dragonfucker? Like, really? Yo, what's an alpha male gonna do to get some service? What may I serve you? Fair and quickly. Coming right up. These dogs want to fear. God. He's gonna get a big one. Hopefully he gets just drunk and dies or something like that. <laughs> Best yet. Hello, the Lillian. There you are. Damn you, a slow piece of shit. Hey, boss. What was the opposite of deja vu again? A gem ice food. Like, really? That's a thing. Yeah, that. Having a premonition, or something like that, the dog felt uncannily familiar. Are you bored? Not really, I was playing with the dots a bit ago. Not about playing pool, but all the other clients are jump challenged. Sorry if this sounds rude, but why was the dog box so dusty? You're the first person in a year or so that I've been here that actually wanted to play with the dots. I even 
think my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs his clients? We've had worse. Have you had someone come in and gnaw no, no chest pieces? Yes, she was testing out a new mechanical thief, so she got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. The anecdotes like you, you don't really think serving dogs would be totally normal. You'd be wrong, because even then we were talking about humans. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've served a dog or two in my time, but they usually come with someone. And they never talk. I don't think about it, are these things bad for dogs? Now you worry about that? But no, they aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at, are at risk if they drink those chemicals. Cappuccino monkeys? Anyway, you want anything to drink? Surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Sure. I need to drink myself there. Well, the last time we got a sugar rush, or this time we got from this powerful uh, star, I guess. Oh, oh, I'll eat the place. Here you go. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk through the cause, right? That's right. How do they work? It's not too hard, really. They, they are just translators. To read the dog's brains and turn the thoughts into words. Do keep in mind that, the do that today's dog breeds are more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. If you put the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Yeah, I read something about it once. <laughs> Alright, fan, see you later. Another question, why do they wear those small tuxedos? It's good for PR. You don't say. Well, it will be a bit before we go for the day. Another qu any other questions? Yes, why the fuck do these dogs want to get drunk? They see humans do it and they think it might be fun. Just like teens, then. No, if you'll excuse me. Satan's helper. <laughs> Who the hell's with these dog names, really? What can I serve you? Moon! Excuse me? Moon! A moon blast? Moon! Well, you, 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 you get the idea. Satan's helper, yes. <laughs> Two owls. A big moon blast. Moon! Alright then. <laughs> the dog wants a big moon blast. God damn it. Uh, on the box and find it. I think you wish you were drunk. Honestly, dealing with those dogs, yes, I can see that. Here. Moon! A good moon or a bad moon? Pesky furball. Hold on, I'm, I I need a moment to a ravish spike say a please. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Pesky furball. Ravish spike, sure. <laughs> I imagine playing this before I play the tutorial. Oh, you understand me? How was a kid too? I have, I have no idea what kind of accent that was. Or what that's supposed to be. But, yeah. Sure. Yeah, just, just... Just take all the alcohol. I don't care. You know, Red was also having some trouble with, um... Uh, uh, hey, thanks, I. <laughs> Can anyone enlighten me what kind of dialect it was supposed to be? Australian? S something, something British? I have no idea. All right, one more drink before you wrap things up. What do you want? Mm, I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course, anything he said. Here. Have this. Here you are. Thanks. <laughs> he doesn't really give a fuck. You think it was big Latin or something? Okay. So what I exactly do? Sorry to ask if it's rude. I guess I'm what people call an office boy. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. 
But just being a dog run company, there are a lot more responsibilities. Like getting stuff off shelves and opening windows. At least you pay well. I see. And how did you end up in that position? How did you get that offer? My neighbor is the owner of one of the dogs. He told me they needed funds. Figures. You're celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago, three corgis became dissatisfied with the quality of existing dog toys. So they founded this company. They got the money from their owners, if I remember co How the hell does it How the hell does any of this work? If I remember correctly. I can see that happening, somehow. The SDC is the second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started the safe fair toy development. Ain't that unfortunate. Hello? Thank god, so, thank god a normal person enters the bar. Hmm? The past favorite sweetheart has arrived. Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to stop. This isn't a sitcom. Oh honey, how oh, innocent. Hmm, excuse me, you are. I'm the lovely Dorothy Hayes, I just saw... Uh, wait, you're a Lilim, not at your service then. Hmm? Don't be rude to all the clients. Just kind of a regular here. Kind of? I've been coming here rego religiously for the past three months now. Three months? I come here to see your charming face and you still say kind of a regular? For shame, honey, for shame. I'm sorry, I guess. Nothing a free day, free drink on self. One do. Hmm? You're playing hard to get. Even if I wanted to give you a drink, we're booked for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign out in front of something? I find out my, I find my, I only find out myself just a few minutes ago. She can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you were at least 40% organic, I would give you a discount. Discount? You don't need to know. <laughs> so we booked you, this guy? The Safe Fire Toy Company. What do they do? We, um, they create dog toys. Oh, lovely. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I'd get about something like that? You mean that if I were to turn around, I'd see dogs? Yeah. Didn't you see them when you came in? I, I just entered without looking anywhere else because but the bar. You look troubled. I'm not too f much of a dog person. I even cha charge extra if my client wants to. Uh, I even charge that for my clients wants a doggy style. Doggy? You don't need to know. I'm going to take this ticket and trade it in next Monday. I'm leaving right now. The ticket would have expired by then though. She looks like the kind of girl that will halt your promise to your promise regardless. Is it that obvious? Well I have to get out of the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. Alright, sirs. Night is over. You have camels you need to return to. <laughs> All done? Yeah. Boss, how do you end up being booked by dogs? I know some dogs myself. Hmm. And you told me we're booked the whole weekend, right? That's right. Please bear with it. We're all doing our part after all. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta go for today. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Alright. That was something. Good evening. Day two of seven dogs. Are you ready? No. Cheer up. No. That other dude don't make things easier to for, for yourself. Surfing dogs won't ease things either. Have you heard anything from Gail? Nope. But he should be having fun wherever he is. Also, did you know we had dogs? Yeah, I did. Why didn't you tell me? Because that's the kind of stuff you should just assume. A target board usually comes with a set of dogs. Do you like dogs, boss? Not particularly, but I know I owe an apology to someone. Hmm? Anyway, call me if you need anything. Sure. Well then. Just going to keep the same music. Doesn't really matter much anymore. Time to make drinks and change lives. Oh hey, can I have a big beer please? Thank god, a human. Sure, coming right up. Oh 
I'm going to miss this game though. I had fun with it. I definitely had fun with this. Here. Thank you. Let me ask what you do for these dogs, Miss um, Beatrice, but everyone calls me Betty. And why do you need to know that? I mean, if you've been stuck with dogs all day, you could also be curious when a human walks in. Fair enough. I'm the veterinarian. To all your clients? Yeah, company issued for that. I mean, I have my own office, but it's in, the, it's in their building. I feel my voice is off today. So you're Betty the vet. Oh, cram it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not in the mood for puns right now. I'll keep it in mind. Anything else I might need to avoid bringing up around you besides puns? Enhancements, but that's harder to shove into conversation in the first place. Noted. What do you have against en enhancements anyway? They're unnatural, they go against the very idea of human evolution. Hmm. But there's a certain wall that humans can't cross with enhancements. It's not like having something replaced with will automatically make you an expert in things. If anything, getting an enhancement sets you back until you get used to it. Yeah, but it just makes things too easy on paper. Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. But you have a point, skill doesn't ship with enhancements, at least not yet. Sorry for the outburst, I have a story with enhancements. I don't, I don't mind. It's more entertaining than serving drinks to talking dogs. Ahem, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's my job right now. Do you want another drink? I'm fine for now. Call me if you need anything. Sure. Rare and Fringer. Isn't that just the? Isn't that just a dog fucker again? A uh, dragon fucker? Hey, have you seen a red dot? I've seen many things in my life, but the red dot not today now. Do you have any red drinks? Red drinks? Yeah, the drink might know something. Right. Red. Uh, oh wait, I got an idea. This should be red. At least I hope it's red. Is it going, is it going to matter anyway if I serve him something wrong? Probably not. So how is everyone doing today? Here. Thanks. Okay, punk, hear me out. You're going to tell me why that red dot went or I'll drink you. I'm not bluffing, I'll drink you all up. <laughs> Damn god bastard. <laughs> what are these what are these dog names? These Temple Marians, they think they can come and take our jobs. Excuse me. We've been getting some serious media attention because the company only hires corgis. Must be slow news, eh? But you know what I say? It's good if we don't hire anyone else. We don't need more races running our work Ooh. We don't need more races ruining our workplace. Next thing you'll know, they'll be asking us to hire cats. Wouldn't other races bring new skills to the company? Shut up. What do you know? Don't give me a bad touch. <laughs> bad touch for the dog. Here. Hmm. Racist dogs, what are the odds? Wait, if I can't tell the difference between them, does it make me a racist too? Would it matter if you're a racist against racist? Hmm. <laughs> Some good questions. Bartender, please stop dozing off, I need booze. Sorry, what can I get you? I'll have a Zen Star, sure. Four of everything, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And also us. Made some experimental burgs early that turned out okay. Okay. Playing toe or soccer trying to finish the safe file for Dylan. Oh, good luck with that. Here. Thank you. Something on your mind? Willing to lend an ear? That's in the job description. Not enough. Alright then, so you mentioned the thing about talking dogs. I thought. People throughout the ages have always dreamt about talking to animals. Never mind the fact we could always understand our body language. Now that we understand them, what do we find out? They're just furry, adorable little office workers. 
Actually, scratch that. I've yet to meet a furry office worker with half the, with half the charisma of one of these little guys. You've met furry office workers? I've seen my share of the world, bartender. Sounds like you're tired. Furry office workers. Alright. It's fleas and deck seasons. I am tired. So you're the de Don't you dare. Um. <laughs> well, this whole free bar thing is nice now, I guess. It would be nice if we just actually had time to get properly ready. What do you mean? I found out about the booking yesterday, so I was getting uh, so as, as I was getting ready. If the client asked for something special, or there's something I needed to know about him. My boss didn't specify anything, all she said to me is pretend like it's any other day. That was a screw up on our end, sorry. They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. I was actually surprised to find out they got the place. Why all of a sudden plans? Did they forget their anniversary or something? We found a place, but the cardigans weren't the ones that Haya did. Then some stupid arguments arose and the cardigans decided they didn't want to have any Pembrokes at their party. I swear to god, these dogs are like annoying little suburban kids. What are these cardigans I keep hearing about? Are they just another kind of corgi? Except with a different fur color and a slightly different attitude. All of this is so silly. I've seen dogs play with cats. Dogs play with other dogs. And dogs mating with dogs twice their size. Well, that's what happens when you have dogs mimicking their owners. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, I mean, that's the reason they're in a bar in the first place. But I guess the media focus on the Bamberg's probably didn't help. Hmm. Well, if you excuse me, I have dogs to. Yeah. Hmm? Oh yeah, do your job, don't mind me. Tortilla Pope. Hey buddy. Hello. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Um, you? I am? Whoa, thanks buddy. What can I serve you? Well, a big shunshine cloud would be nice. Coming right up. Getting a bit lightheaded, it's weird. No idea what calls it either. It is, it just feels a bit weird. Here. Why are you serving dogs? I know, right? Oh, aren't you a cutie? Loopy doopy boo. Oof. Courage. 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 It's courage to the cowardly dog. I'm g I get I get it, I get it. You know what I hate, man? What do you hate, dog? Cabbages, man. They're like lettuces that decided to go to the gym. <laughs> They think they were a big deal because the leaves are harder. Guess what? I don't like them. Calm down, dog. Do you want anything? For cabbages not to exist. I meant to drink. Oh, I'll have a big grizzly temple then. I can do that. Can you, though? Because it's a promo drink, isn't it? Even dogs need to relieve stress, I guess. Here we go, chill out for a bit, dog. Thanks, man. Bartender. Yeah. Do you have anything sweet? We're talking about drinks, right? Are you hitting on me? If that's how you want to see it, well, let me see what I can get you. And make it big. Do you like them big, Miss Fatty? It's not the size, but how you sell it. The gourmet food exists for that sole reason. Wise words. <laughs> okay. uh, you don't like them big, she says. What the fuck am I doing? No, I'm doing it I'm doing it correctly, but I just can't make one of these big, that's a problem. Ah. Uh, These then. Oh, 
normal HDMI. Here. Thanks. You know, I'm curious. What's the weirdest kind you've ever gotten? I wouldn't be able to tell you. There are many kinds of weird. Pick the first one that comes to mind. Well, there was this one guy that spent 30 minutes arguing with himself before ordering. That's not that weird. He came in wearing a, vol a velociraptor mask and he wouldn't stop screaming. He left humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Oh yeah, that's weird. At least he left a nice tip. Speaking of anecdotes, can I ask you a story on with the enhancements? Why the interest? Because it seems like a personal thing, it doesn't sound like it's a question of ethics. And honestly, I'm really bored. Hmm. Sure, I can entertain you a bit. Back when I was a, a college, college freshman, some friends of mine decided to get their hands in ours. It was around the time all started practicing surgery. They just wanted to bypass all the practice needed. And so they hired this shady check who supposedly hooked them up. I only talked some of them out of it. The others went over the guy and got their hands chopped off. This is one of the stories that ends badly, I'm guessing. Yeah. Four girls underwent a shady surgical procedure. Two lost their hands, one was left with an arthritic mess, and the last one died on the operation table. Whoa. So yeah, I'm not a fond of enhancements. Especially if they're taking in an effort to do avoid effort. This culture will become better automatically with enhancements really gets on my nerves. That story sounds so familiar. Did the shady guy have a bleach, bleached moustache and tattooed black eyebrows? Well, oh, that sounds weird. He also talked using an electro larynx. Have you seen him? No, but I remember news about the police catching someone who was performing illegal surgeries. Never thought I'd meet someone affected by him. It's a small world, isn't it? Well, I guess I got a deck on the check on the dogs to see if they're fine. Sure, I'll keep sipping the booze. Thanks for sharing the story. Yeah, yeah. Accident. <laughs> Accident. Hey man, have you ever felt like time is moving too fast? Tonight, I'm feeling like it's not moving by fast enough. Lucky you. You really say that if times feel like it's going by too fast, you're having a good time. What can I serve you? I'm in the bad touch. Sorry, coming right up. The dog wants a bad touch. Uh, another big one, no. Here we go, have a good time my dear. Maybe you're right, thanks. Dog 5, bartender. Hmm? One Brantini please. Sure. Hmm, that was rather straightforward. Oh, age tent mix. There we go. Excuse me. The beer's, the beer's mat's dirty. Sorry, I changed it. Nah, no, leave it like that. I already ruined the Brentini anyway. <laughs> okay. Phew. Taking a breather? Yeah, not like I'm that busy though. Fucking dogs. Anyway, do you want anything to drink? No, some dogs gave me drinks already, I'm fine. Oh, alright. Say, bartender, do you like your job? Hmm? I mean, you're not like the usual crop of bartenders. The kind were always making a big show at a disco or a rave party. Why does everybody keep saying that? Ahem. Why are you working as a veterinarian? If you want to change the subject, you can just say so. I just did. Fine. I'm a veterinarian because if I don't do it, we will. I don't trust all the vets, I don't feel like you're actually cut out for the job. So I took it upon myself to do it. That's quite the ambition. Speaking of ambition, did you start working here because this is what you wanted since high school or something? That's a whole new can of worms I don't want to open, but no. Life took me here, basically. Quite a question. I thought we were exchanging life stories with each other. I was also thinking about the whole risk versus reward thing. These talks made me an offer just as I graduated. Sometimes I wonder if I'd been better, take, uh, better off taking bigger risks. But you know, the whole safe position versus big, big bad kind of deal. If you're comfortable with the opportunity you've been given, take it. If it's something that's been bothering you for a while, scratch that itch. Wow, you should be a counselor. Nah, it's just cheap advice. Well, I have to take care of the dogs, excuse me for a bit. 
Actually, we're about to leave already. Oh, really? Yeah, thank you for everything. Don't worry. Thank dog. Uh, I mean God. 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 Do do dog damn it. <laughs> I'm done for the day, I'm guessing. Yeah. You might want to get some insecticide or something to make sure we're not full of fleas. What does the health inspector think of this stunt? The health inspector is too afraid to come to this part of the city, so I'll assume he's fine with it. Right. Say, boss, you look tense. Really? Weird. So I'll call it a day here. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> Last day. Just taking a drink in myself. Okay, so yeah, just a bit of a half hour in so far. Good evening. You look good, boss. Starting tomorrow, there will be no more corgis in our bar. Why wouldn't I be sad? Maybe because tomorrow there won't be no more corgis in the bar. I wonder if the Shiba Appreciation Society might be interested in booking us. One problem at a time, boss. Wait, I know someone from the Pomerian Development Institute. One problem at a time. Still, you've been done over since Friday. Are you worried about Gil or something? Trust me, of all of my worries, Gil is the least of them. Oh, poor fat boy. Put on some music and enjoy the day, won't you? Right. Poor fuck boy. The boss doesn't care about him at all. Time to make strings and change lives. About then, we meet again. Oh, Miss Betty. Hello. And you, Mr. Corgi lover. Call me Deal. Deal. Deal? Deal. Oh, I've did such a vice look of your face as you do. Hmm. <laughs> what can I serve you today? I'll have a beer. I'm not a designated driver today, so give me a French weaver. Alright, coming right up. Have you ever seen corgi races? I have not. I have not. Next. And a French weaver. One animal hide and a nine camera train. I'll each do fixed. Here. Thanks. Thank you. You seem distracted. I was hoping so many dogs finally got into you. No, well, yeah, but it's not that. My boss has been acting weird since Friday. Weird how? Romantic weird? Crook addicted weird. Let's hope nobody finds the body in the fridge weird. For starters, that's the fact she only told me we were being booked moments before we opened. Delicious, she seems completely distracted or lost in her thoughts. Like you? Worse. No. She's not being herself, and that makes me wonder if something's going on. Like what? Do you run a human trafficking wing in the basement? No, we don't have a license for that. Oh well, thinking about it too much is not part of my job. Can I ask you something about your job? Sure. I've always been curious, what does the BTC need in our bartenders? What do you need to study? We train you from scratch so you don't have to study anything beforehand. What does the training involve? It's a lot of etiquette and regulation work, most of the time now. It's actually spent in simulations. Simula simulations? Different scenarios involving different chemical hazards, that sort of thing. They want uh, you to be able to respond to every possible situation that might come up involving our ingredients. I mean, the chances of failure are really slim, but it's better to not take those chances. I see. I'll be back with you guys in a bit, I must attend to the other clients. Dogs, that. Oh, sure. Mr. Puff. They are chasing me, man. Who? The cabbages, man. The goddamn cabbages. They are everywhere. They're right the, out for my rump. You're... never mind. Can I get you anything to calm down? A big blue fairy would be nice. Okay then. <laughs> this dog wants a big blue fairy. Uh -huh. uh, Here. Thanks, very nice of you. Third bark day. Uh, something to matter. Nothing a drink can solve. 
Not sure about that, but it's hardly my job to preach sobriety. What do you want? Give me a gut punch. Okay. Let's flee back once a gut punch. I'm too lazy to give them alcohol. It doesn't matter anyway. Here you are. Thanks. Hey, you ever felt guilty for being born the wrong race? The what now? I've just been hearing so much about how we are racist. I I'm wondering. Are you racist? <laughs> Not really. Do you feel like all the corgis might be? Definitely. I mean... Then why worry? It's not like they're calling you racist. You shouldn't take generalizations personally. You might be right. Man, you should've seen the cutie I saw yesterday on the way down. She looked like a cat boomer. She was wearing a mini dress and had this pr 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 Oh, she's talking about Stella. She had this prosthetic eye. I don't remember against people using prosthetics. I'm not against cute though. Besides, I'm not against prosthetics, I'm only against enhancements. I don't see a difference between the two. Alright, let me put it this way. If you lost an arm and replaced it with a mechanical arm that does exactly what the older one did, I'm okay with it. But if you lost an arm and replaced it with a gun-loaded super arm from hell, that's something I'm not okay with. Even worse is if you decide to replace your arm because of fashion or on a whim, or to get better at some sport. That's completely not cool. That's the difference between a prosthetic and enhancement. Replacement versus uh, enhancement. I have a similar opinion about Lilin replacing their factory parts for kicks. If you think that's going to be an easier way to getting better at something, you're in for a bad surprise. Well, I can see why you think that, but what suggested you. Uh, but what suggested that what she had wasn't an enhancement? If she had bad eyesight, wouldn't it count as an enhancement, even if it fixes it? How does Rupert. Comparative work factor into your ideologies. They might be enhancements, but they also replace something faulty. Well, um, damn it! Stop making sense, you piece of crap. You're weakening my resolve. Having fun? Oh, bartender, that was fast. There seem to be less dogs out today. At least dogs that want to drink. Yeah, some of them ate their tickets. Oh, lovely. I'll be the one dealing with that later. Say, what's your take on the wall enhancement discussion, bartender? I'm always a saying, anyone can make a chandelier out of their asses. <laughs> if we remote, remotes coming in your mail and you find it better one of your folk park games. Hmm. Nostalgia. Why we remote still works? At least the last time I saw it. Which somehow means your body, your choices. If you're not hurting anyone, I don't see the point in hating them. You see, buddy? Hey, I didn't say I automatically hate anyone who has an enhancement. Me being against something isn't the same as being against someone. I'm not some 12 year old blindingly hating something, uh, someone because something like that. Maybe you should practice what you preach. What does that mean? A fair retaliation, so I'm not going to say another word. Are you two going to order anything? I'm fine right now. She's drinking mine, actually. Alright, call if you need anything else. Sure. Let's see. Ow! So much for avoiding retaliation. Poop eater. <laughs> You're not gonna believe me. I was in the bathroom and this other dog was looking at me from the top of the sink. You mean a mirror? No, another dog. I see. What can I serve you? You're not gonna do anything about that other dog on the top of the sink? I'm sure he doesn't want to hurt anybody, don't worry. I hope you're right. Well, I want something really sweet. Coming right up. Whatever. I can't kill the dog, so I don't really care about what I give him. Here you go. Thanks. Please think about the thing in the little dog on the top of the sink. Oh well, don't worry. Well then. That was quick. Like I said, there aren't many dogs today. When I heard someone book this for three days, I expected more of an attendance. When you were gone, this fellow has said. Leading Jane is better than a file driver. Please, prove him wrong. All I'm saying is that I don't see the point of drinks that feel more like a kick in the mouth than a beverage. What do you drink, bartender? Do you think there's any point in discussing non-alcoholic drinks in the bar? In my opinion, people who order bad touch always make me giggle like an idiot though. That's not an opinion, that's a statement. Oh well, please serve us either file drivers or bleeding Janes, so we'll let you decide which one is better. Coming right up. 
Um, okay, so I can't make and or. I mean, I need to make both of them. All right. I'm just making bleeding chains, I guess. Because we've not really made much of those over the entire game. Take a side, see if I can. When did you two end up discussing that? Well, it started when he told this guy he wasn't as crazy about the idea of working just for corgis. Why don't you like corgis? They're cute and fluffy and funny and they just make you smile. Tell me one interesting thing about them. The legend says they were created by a fairy and that breeders raised to fight dragons. Oh, you have to be kidding. No, actually, I heard of them too. Oh, God. Really? Still, I can't see why you're so tired of them. You know, maybe because I only have to deal with them at the, f at the worst. You've only seen them in their happy state. I'm the one running freezer samples and unclogging their flinches when they eat their own, eat their owner's dental floss out there. <laughs> That's an actual legend, really? Out okay. there. It's kind of weird that they didn't incorporate it in Pokemon then and just made us an electric corgi. They love that kind of shit. I might be the veterinarian, but that would be more like a mom and not in a good way. It's like being a cardiologist. After a while you stop seeing boobs and vaginas, and instead you all you see are issues you must fix. At least they're cute issues. It depends. A cardiologist can't pick clients on by age or preferences. I was talking about your job. Oh yeah, that too. Still, I don't think it's too much... I don't think it's much that I'm tired of them as I'm tired of with you being so obsessed with them. I'm not obsessed, I'm passionate. You sleep with a corgi plushie and have a wall dedicated to photos you've taken with company. I'm really passionate. Too much passion can become an issue, you know. Speaking of issues, did you talk with the directors about the whole cardigan of conflict? Let's go to do that tomorrow when they're all together. But I still don't see why I should be the one doing it. For starters, they don't take me too seriously. Understandable, they don't take you seriously either. <laughs> I mean, in the end, they're still dogs, they need someone with a strong commanding voice. Are you saying I have a naggy voice? No, no, not your voice, just your entire demonor. So I have a naggy demonor. I'm assuming you two are talking about the whole race conflict. Yeah, this is hurting them more than I think, the company might actually collapse at this rate. Which is terrible, because a couple of these dogs' families are dependent on their paychecks. <laughs> Doesn't that count as an ethical and unusual treatment of animals? It's a bit of a legal grey area, but the dogs are doing it willingly, after all. And even if they aren't doing it willingly, the dogs aren't actually being mistreated or exploited. In fact, the company is pretty relaxed. Speaking of relaxed, how's Jürgen doing? He's fine, still complaining about his back, still unwillingly to take his medicine. He says he's not that weak. Who's the Jürgen guy? Oh my guardian. I passed the test years ago, but I couldn't leave him. That's actually commonplace, isn't it? Then them being unable to leave their guardians because they feel too much like family. Yeah, to be fair, people get attached to many things. Some even get obsessed with inanimate objects. My grandpa loved this car more than any of his sons. And the ones who, who, who left all of his early... Wait. The one whose will left all his early possessions to his car, right? Yeah, that one. How do you become a Leland's guardian? You fill a form at the Artificial Intelligence Council. Then they do a background check. If they deem you useful, they give you authorization. They're giving us a, a week notice before they give you all the data about the Lilium you'll be taking care of. You'll have to watch over it until it can pass the Drift and Personality Test. If the Lilium wants to stay with you after that, then that's your problem. So it's like an adoption and a lottery all rolled into one. They do that to diversify the possible outcomes. Two Lilum can be of the same model, but it'll grow differently depending on their guardians. But what if something happens to the guardian? A new guardian can appeal to the council, stating that they're more fit for the position than the original. This happens when a guardian has become unavailable in some way. Of course you can back up claims of neglect or maltreatment. 
You spit all that out of information like it's hard coded in you. I work in that department for some time before coming to the SDC. It's almost a reflex. Are you interested in becoming a guardian, bartender? I don't know. I'm just a nerd when it comes to AIs in general. The money they give you for it is not that great though. I see. Well, time to check on the dogs. <laughs> money shredder. Well, this is an air punk. Mm, sorry, I didn't mean to call you a punk, it's just... I was chasing my tail and now I'm too hyper to control myself. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just give me anything. Alright. Okay. Why am I sleepy again? One of these should do. Give him water. Can you even make water? I've never seen it before. This is good. This is very good. Very good. Ah. Hmm? No, see, I can deal with the value of other dog races. Like Pomerians, those are nice, but they aren't corgis. Well, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, I remember a cute girl from yesterday I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Fropping water is a recipe, true. The white knight was with her. She wasn't all big. She wasn't all bad either. I mean, it was obvious that the tapestry of muscles was hidden under her armor. I prefer more delicate-looking girls, though. You can appreciate how something looks, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily your thing. I do, bartender. Me? What? Which dog race do you prefer? That's not the question I was expecting. Not much of a dog person, actually. Do you have any pets? I have a cat named Four, yeah. He's just a stray I rescued. Do you like rescuing girls too? <laughs> I'm sure I should be making a witty retort right now, but I'm just gonna go say ahead and say no. Wait, I've always thought that the rescue fantasy was universal. Why call it Four? Four is a little moment some time ago that... Mm, never mind. Pretty lame name if you ask me. Better than calling it Asset. I bet when you and Four play, it's quite a sight, huh? He's so lively, I sometimes fear it foreshadows my presence entirely. You guys want to lose consciousness that much? God, I'm puns. You really need to come down with the whole pun hitting stuff, buddy. Better move away from this war, war foreground. <laughs> what is this rescue fantasy you mentioned before? You know, the one where a way where dangerous soul redeems themselves through the power of love. The, cat, the bad boy returns away to a life of crime. The drug addicted girl who lived on the streets and turned tricks on Dill. She found a good man worth changing for. Her. This is corny romance cliches 101. Well, you're the one with the shelf full of old lady romance novels. I'll trust you in this. Hey, Fabio the Dauphine is a national treasure. You don't even like us, why do you read all his novels? Don't let you put yourself in the place of a main character quite easily. Even if that main character is a muscular man, I see no problem. It just. what is your self image? I can ask something else. What is it? Why do you hate puns that much? Many people cringe at puns, you know. Yeah, but you react, you react like you're in debt against them. They make me feel stupid. Mmm, what? When I was a kid, everyone in my house had a penchant of making puns at the drop of a hat. I was the only one who couldn't get them. Years later, I finally got them, and they weren't that funny. They made me feel stupid. All in the name of some terrible joke that wasn't even funny in the first place. I've said this many times, I might as well might as well just make your recording, but you need to chill out, buddy. The puns are great. Yeah, I am chilling out. Just because I complain about stuff doesn't mean I'm not relaxed. I'm not sure that's how it works. Trust me, when I'm tense and angry, you'll know it. I fear the thought. Anyway, I'll go check on the dogs. I'm supposed to be the doctor and they are supposed to be suspicious and just, uh, and just suspiciously quiet. Be careful. You want anything else? I'll have a bloom light. Actually, make it two, please. Sure.
thanks. Say, you two seem to get along quite well. Well, then you're only sent in humanoids in the entire company, it kinda happens. Just because you're complaining doesn't mean you aren't enjoying it. True. Sentiment. We have a couple of test mannequins and cardboard cutouts, so... I see. Seems there's more to it than just that, though. I mean, even if you don't... If you two are the only ones of your kind, you can still hate each other. Well, I guess I'm one of the few that can stand Betty. She's a really nice person, but she doesn't sugarcoat things. Yeah, I can see that. You should see her treating those dogs. She becomes so patient and understanding, even if it's only for a little while. The dogs don't call her mom to mock her. And dogs mock people. I don't know. Even if it's only for a little while. You are eavesdropping. So you can say nice things once in a while. You say it like I'm the aggressive one here. It's nice hearing people say good things about you once in a while, you know. You should take your own advice. Maybe some other time, I'm not a hug box. Anything happened? The dog in the bathroom got angry at its reflection in the mirror and charged into it. Luckily, nothing bad happened, it just made the, bo the dog very confused. How the hell did he get on top of the sinks? It is surprisingly agile, even with those, with, with, with those stubby little legs. Oh yeah, I ordered you this. Oh, thanks. By the way, Betty, how's Veronica? She... we broke up last month. What? Well, things were not getting going so well. We got too used to one another. Everything was starting to become routine. We decided to break up before things got better. And why didn't you tell me that before? Why? Did you want to turn it... Did you want your turn at the Betty Mobile? I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to trouble you. And after a while, it stopped feeling like there was something relevant to say. Please don't do that again. Try trusting me. Yeah, you're right. You know what bothers me? The fact of asking after someone's health always feels like you're walking on the full floor of glass shards. There's always this chance that the other person is not okay, or even dead. And what started as a legitimately fun moment can go sour. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry for not trusting you, you piece of scrap. Don't worry, I understand why you did it. Hey, now that I think about it, you're sharing out of this a lot, bartender. Well, dogs can only be so interesting, and besides, I haven't been as many there haven't been as many dogs today. Is my presence unwanted? No, not at all. Especially since you're the one bringing the booze. Like how you complain about your cat's licking all the time. Cat's licking doesn't really hurt though. Only it's not in my case, it feels funny. You're know, like those cab drives that like to chat all the way, but you smell better than most of them. Thank you. The funny thing is that we are officially associated with a local taxi line. They're the ones that send drunkards on their way homes. You seem to really, really like talking to your clients, like it's the best part of your job or something. At first, Sunny continue. I wish she would continue. She just licks like five times and she's done with it. Like just make up, make up, your, make up your mind what you want to do, and then she bites my hand. I don't like her biting my hand. Kind of is. I used to sit around in crowded places like malls or bars and think to myself, each and every person here has a story. It's a humbling experience. Everyone has dreams, fears, and loved ones. If you dig deep enough, you'll realize that the gap between two random people isn't as big as you think. In fact, it's quite small. And in this job, you get to hear all kinds of stories. Some people just blurt it all out, some do it while drunk. To know that no matter how similar they might seem at first glance, no two people are alike is fascinating. You could be a powerful information broker with all that knowledge. Nah, I'm not interested. I'd like to see myself more as a friendly, friendly ear than someone you need to be wary of. I guess there are still decent folks out there. I'm not decent? You're critically obsessed with dogs. I'll go check if there's any other dog who wants something. Sure. Go ahead. Rough bucket. Quick, a bear. Okay. He wants something, anything. He's also... Wait, I thought they said quick, a bear. Well, whatever. He's getting a beer now. Here. 
Thanks, now. Boom. Why did you break glass? I made breakfast. Get it? Because you made a drink fast and I broke it and... Go. Tough crowd. Suddenly I understand the hate for puns. Hey bartender. Bad, bad render. Mhm. Mm oh dear, she's she's drunk. Your job is a funny name. You don't say. How is she already drunk? She drank way less than she did last night. Yeah, but she drank a bottle before coming here. Why? I wish I knew. It's an example of her al alcohol tolerance, though. Broad denter. I want to make a toast to my good friend the robot here. Probably the only person robot thing that can send my yapping for more than half an hour. Without them, my job would be five times more boring and my life two times more meaningless. Cheers. You're not holding a drink. Then, then give me one, Ben Trader. Isn't that your job? I need a beer, a big one. Alright. Betty has become drunk. Alright, cheers. I said cheers, cheers, cheers. Good. Grumpy went sober and sweet and went drunk. It seems like she's been this uni like this since her university years. You make it sound like those were a, a decade ago. Ahem. I can understand the taste of alcohol, but what's so good about getting drunk? First of all, I'm not drunk. You're too happy. I'm a happy person. When I'm drunk. Hmm. Anyway, it's something you just can't explain. You just like it, your body needs it, craves it. That's called being an alcoholic. I prefer the term alcohol enthusiast. Anyway, humans actively look for things that make them feel lightheaded. Why else would you leave some poison in potential poisoned food, like the red balloon fish thing? Why would you eat spicy food or think drink fermented milk? Seriously, how crazy does someone need to be to say, hey, let's eat this and see what happens? Worse yet, they've even found medicine among the, all that junk. The ones that invented penicillin was probably the worst of them all. Fair enough, but you see, that's proof you're drunk. If you were sober, we'd just say, hell by now. Silly robot. Now that I think about it, what kind of robot are you? Lilim. Lilim always sounds too feminine. Okay then, what kind of piece of scrap are you? You don't know? You never cared, but now I'm curious. Fleming was his name. Hmm. Oh well, you won't remember it tomorrow. I'm a DT... 01D, a social development robot. Is like that is that like the DFC 72s? No, no, DFCs are designed to be physical human as possible in order to blend in with humans better. My line are more tailored for resilience, we are work Lilim. The timer should be cursed to only one destiny from the moment you're born. You can do whatever you want, silly robot, follow your dreams. I know, I'm already doing it. Being created or hardwired for one duty only means you're more adept at certain things. Giving robots freedom of choice, that's the whole purpose of the N ADN law. Yeah, but you know, you say you're resilient but you don't look the part. True, I never upgraded my muscles, but I can send up to 200 degrees Celsius without breaking a sweat. A little can sweat? Cooling agents, yes. No matter, you're still special to me no matter what kind of robot you are. Little. No matter what piece of shit you are. <laughs> Speaking of special, how come it isn't legal to marry a dog yet? Excuse me, what? If humans are allowed to marry robots, uh, Lilim, I mean, uh, I'm at Lilim. Ahem, uh -huh, they should be able to marry dogs too. App trender. <laughs> That's me, I think. This guy here wants to bang a dog. Mock him. Excuse me. I do not. I was just saying that if humans are allowed to marry Lilim, why shouldn't they be allowed to marry animals? Because first of all, they're not humanoids. What about monkeys then? And now you want to bang a monkey? I do not. And second of all, dogs, just like many other animals, can't give you consent. But look at these dogs. Sure, they have the cognitive abilities of a seven-year-old, but they can tell, drink booze and argue. So now you want to bang a seven-year-old. <laughs> she's, she's definitely going places here. If you have a regular here, we would be delighted to hear that. Stop it. 
Remember, Lilim Yuma marriage is always sanctioned after the Lilim achieved full sentience. And even then, they used Marius as a way to evolve, evolve the collective source. This escalated. <laughs> it definitely did. Besides, dogs don't really love us that way. Trying to apply human ideas like marriage to a dog is like... Like trying to feed your vegetables to a carnivore, you get me? Says the ex-vegetarian. Why are you only so smart and drunk? I'm not drunk. But anyways, if you want to screw a dog or a chimp, go ahead. This doesn't bring marriage or infants into the whole deal, deal. But if you even start thinking about doing the horizontal mambo with a seven year old, please seek some mental help. <laughs> horizontal mambo, alright. But I don't want to bang dogs, or monkeys, or seven year olds. Well, thank god. Well, I did you suddenly start talking about dog human marriage? It's just, I was thinking about all those dogs and tuxedos and. And I started picturing a dog in a bridal dress. I mean, just try and picture that. And I'm the drunk one. Wait, I'm not drunk. Why would I say that? Then again, when you're drunk, you can only get dizzy. Do you have a limit? Isn't the limit as how much you can drink before passing out? No, I just got disorientated to a point I'm effectively useless. But I never passed out. Maybe if I passed out, I wouldn't have to deal with all the shit that follows. I always have to wait at least 24 hours before the effects pass. When does the wonder why they gave all those human flaws to Lilim? I read something about that. It said that by giving Lilims the same kind of weakness as humans have, they would develop the same way humans do. Alright, Skepta, I'll see you later. So that's why you also bite our lips randomly when eating. Seems like it. But it makes me wonder exactly how anatomically correct are you? That's something I know and you don't. Hmm. Any of you want anything else to drink? Yeah, I want... Nothing. You're drinking off as it is. You're not my dad. You can tell me what I can't or cannot do. Beatrice Albert, stop drinking right now. Yes, Mom. Now go sleep in the car. We're almost done here. But, Mom... Go. Hmm. Bye, da bye Dad Nerder. <laughs> bye, Miss Betty. It actually worked. If I didn't know she wouldn't remember anything tomorrow, I would be afraid of retaliation. Although I'm curious, why do you call her Miss Betty? It makes her sound like a teacher or something. Etiquette? I don't know. There's also something about her that makes me feel makes us feel right to call her dad. Maybe it's maybe it's a forehead. I see. Well I gotta get things ready, if you'll excuse me. Good luck. Raven lover. Jesus. We're closing. Damn it. Deal. No. Well, everyone's saving a cab. We're taking a leap, bartender. Thank you for providing such great service on such short notice. That's my job. Um, you are interesting too? No, thank you. I'll make sure to tell our other new associates about the wonders of this place. Thank you. And please come again. We sure will. Send my regards to Miss Betty. Gladly. See you later then. Bye. Stop drinking. You've heard that a lot. Probably. All done. Yep. Seems like we've got some new regulars. Yeah, it'd be nice if they came back, or that we're still here when they come to go back. You've been acting weird all weekend, boss. Are you okay? I am, but the bar is not. What do you mean? Well, I guess you have the right to know. The BTC sent me a message on Friday. But hell hasn't been bringing in as much income these last few months. Which means that we are risk of being wiped off the map. No. That was what, that's what was wrong with her. The wall uh, bar is going to close thing. Alright. That was a prologue. It took me an hour. Now we still have that demo thing. <sighs> I wonder how long this is going to take. Monday, December 12th. Hmm. Such a slow night. At least I'm not serving dogs. Normally this would be where a dog shows up like a chimp punchline. I guess not. Speaking of dogs, I wonder where the hell Gil is. Bored? Yeah. Sorry, did I wake you up? I wasn't sleeping, my eyes were open. You went to college, right? You know having your eyes open means nothing. Don't worry, I don't blame you. It's been a really long time since we had such a slow night. Alright, Laplace, see you later. Bye. 
Bye bye. In fact, I think the last time we worked on our, we had a night this slow was before we started working here. Really? Yeah, it happened when Robert was still working here. Who? My first employee, the poor idiot, bought a levitation potion and threw himself off a building. Oh. As it turned out, the potion actually worked. Come again? He started rising in the air and couldn't stop. They later found his body smeared across the nose of a commercial flight that was on its way to Can... 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 Canevania. But anyway, should I really dismiss that so easily? We didn't have a single client that night. Not even a lost soul asking for directions, but then suddenly a kid shows up. He was obviously underage, but I was bored, so I decided to let him order something. I gave him one common fine free drink. I mean, even if even if I was letting him order, I wasn't about to give him any alcohol to an underage boy. And then the time came for him to pay his tab, and he realized I didn't have enough money. He then yanked his shirt over his head, started screaming as a ghost, and tried to escape. So I kicked him hard as he flew out of the bar and told him ghosts shouldn't feel pain. Right. Boss, did you really kick an underage kid? Of course not. I just gave him a warning and made him wash a couple of dishes. Convenient <laughs> syndrome tropical, eh? I wonder what the deal is with that place, like really. It sounds like a bad, bad joke about Kanye West. That he started his own country or something like that. The fact that he even thought for a moment that I would hurt a young innocent child hurts me to no end, you know. Anyway, just keep it up. Someone will show up sooner or later. I sure hope so. Hold on. Come to think of it, aren't Gil's checks made out of rubber? No. <laughs> hmm. Well, at least the story the story killed a couple of minutes. I think I'll. Don't know. Sort of glasses there or something. Hmm. Made of a door shaped glass. Oh, okay, so it's not an actual fedora, but it's just a glass shape like a fedora. Is anyone here? Oh, sorry, I read right. Ouch. Are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. Welcome to Valhalla, but can I get you, um, something wrong? Are you sure you're old enough to drink? Well, seeing I'm old enough to eat solid food, I'm going to guess drinking will be a problem. You know that. You know that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm old enough to drink. I turned 21 not too long ago, actually. No one believe me. What do you need me to get? What do you need to get me to give you? I must be sleep deprived or something. What's this deja vu feeling though? It's fine. Don't worry. What can I get you? I feel like having a sugar rush. Sure. Right up. I can just give her one without alcohol. Here. Thanks. Hold on, this doesn't have any alcohol, does it? Nope. You really think I'm underage, do you? Yep. Well, if you know that I'm old enough to get pregnant. That's sadly not relevant here. Hmm. On second thought, this is actually good. Hmm, I mean, don't underestimate me. Do you really think I look that young? I do, but not young enough to be considered underage. Then why won't you give me alcohol? Because I wanted to mess with you. As with the clients, do you usually do that? Only if it looks like they might take it on a stride. Still, why are you so angry at the idea I might uh, at the idea I might think you look too young? That's I mean the only people who don't like being mistaken for someone younger are young people. But to be fair, we still look older than 95% of our regulars. That would you mean you've served drink to people who look like they're 13 years old or something? Yep. Well yes, Dorothy. Huh? Alright, let's get this out of the way. Please show me our ID. Sure. Anagram. I see what you did there. It's censored. Seems everything is only Mr. Anagram. Anagram. Where have I heard that name before? Go ahead. Just try to make a joke I haven't heard yet. I'll pull out even fuse. No, I'm serious. Go ahead. People think it's too easy that they never make jokes about my name. Hello there, Oxy. I'm still going to politely refuse. You're no fun. So, what's your name, Miss Bartender? My name. You saw my name, I have the right to know yours. Fair enough, I'm Jill. Jill what? Just Jill. Yeah, but what's your full name? Just call me Jill. Fine, I'll just pretend Jill isn't the right name. It's a way of saying your name is actually Joanna Inglacia Lawrence Jo-Lone. 
Actually, I shortened it to Joe. Whatever floats your boat. Say, Joe, this place looks awfully desolate. Josie Chase. It's been a slow day. A really, really slow day. I'm actually glad you showed up. I was growing bored as hell. I mean, it's not like we're always bustling with activity, but this isn't unusual even for here. So I take it this isn't the popular place then. And we have our regulars, but it's not like the boss in the main street. It's not like this place. It's comfy and, I don't know, it makes me feel safe. Weird. I mean, I feel that way too, but this place usually gives me the opposite impression. So are we going to find out what the deal with Anne is in this, in this demo prologue thing? Whatever the hell it is. Can't blame them though, this isn't exactly the best part of the city. And that's a shame, I really like how isolated this place feels. You can hear the sounds of the city in here, it's nice. But then again, you could say I have some experience with isolated places, so it might just be nostalgic. Nostalgia, huh? Speaking of coming in here, I need to think about it. You didn't ask for my ID when I first came in. Why didn't you do it if you were suspicious? Well, firstly, I was bored. Vegas. And second, I felt like you were of legal age. Hmm. How? I've had a lot of kids come in thinking they could get away with ordering a drink, but they're too nervous or jumpy. I don't usually give drinks to kids like that. They don't know what they're dealing with. But if they're not like that, but still in rage? If they at least look like they're above legal age, I would be able to live it myself, I guess. I wouldn't give them anything if I know they're still kids, but hey, I'm bound to be fooled sometimes. I'm guessing I wasn't jumpy. Yep. I see. Hey Joe, now that I, get to n now that I know I can drink legally, can I get another one? What do you want? Hmm. Give me something sweet. Sweet, sure. So, uh, how is the uh, Pokemon Go, uh, Oxy? Got any good things? Or wasn't that today? One sweet drink. Thanks. You know, if all drinks were like this, I'd be afraid of turning into an alcoholic. Please don't joke about that. How can you say that? You're a bartender. A bartender doesn't want your clients to become alcoholics. Just like how personal trainers don't want their trainers, the trainees to, to turn into junk sour junkies. This chapter makes you feel uncomfortable. I do. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Still, this one's really nice. Hey Joe, do you think? I suppose yeah. It'd be weird for a bartender to not drink, you know? I don't know, I've met dentists with bad teeth. Bartenders who don't drink totally would make sense. You don't like Anna. Fair enough. That's silly. It'd be like a, ve a vegan chef at running a barbecue restaurant. You think? Yeah, I meant it's not a matter of whether you can eat or drink or whatever it's that you're making. She's weird. I mean, we know she's weird. She just randomly appears and no one can see her. So we don't know what the deal is with her. So I wonder if it's getting um, told out what the hell is going on with her. Yeah, I mean, it's not a matter of whether you can eat or drink whatever it is you're making. It's more like, why do it if you don't like it? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. The dentist might have been ba might have bad teeth, but he could still like working in dentistry. But why not bother bartending if you don't like alcohol? See? Hmm. Something wrong? I just noticed you haven't said my name yet. I haven't. What? Aside from when you wrote my ID out loud, you haven't said my name. Meanwhile, I've called you out, called out yours like a gazillion times now. The wrong name now. Well, I've had, had the need to say your name. Come on, humor me. Say my name. Why? Say my name. Say my name. That's totally not suspicious at all. Say my name. Hmm. Anna. One more time. Anna. Yes. Now one more time. Nana. It happened again. Maybe I need glasses. Because she's like Monica. There's that feeling again. Did I see some glitch out in the past? Oh, come on. Why did you want me to say your name? I like hearing people call me by my name. It feels personal and fuzzy. Yeah, but asking people to say your name like that is a bit... quirky? 
creepy. I don't know about that. There was a certain someone who would wake me up in the morning saying my name. If your name is important, once you know someone's name, the gap between that person and you disappears. Once you give names to things, you start seeing them as important members of the family. So what if it's creepy? It's still nice. Stop calling me Joe and use my name now. Say Anna, can I ask you something? You call me by my name, so sure. How about your arm? What about it? Oh, I'm lacking one. Did saying the word creepy remind you of its absence? Actually, I've been wanting to ask about it since you came in. At least be uncomfortable for a second, I'm trying to get a rise out of you. Jeez. So what is it? How did I lose it? It is not too personal. It isn't, I'm actually proud of the tale. Hmm? Why? You're looking at a proud survivor of the nanomachine rejection. Really? I thought it was something doctors detected while a fetus was still in the womb. Yes and no. There's actually two types of nanomachine rejection syndrome. The first one is the most common, they actually detect it while you're still in the fetus. That's when they turn you into a cat boomer. The other one can sometimes appear in your teenage years. It's incredibly rare, but it's still possible. So that arm. Nanomachine rejection basically causes your body to attack itself. Tissues start ripping apart your organs malfunction. I was lucky, in the end all I lost was my ar arm and a handful of toes. Get it, a handful, because I lost five. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. I have a prosthetic arm, but it's in maintenance right now. Oh, I see. It's a bit weird to be without it, I still feel like it's there. Just a couple of hours ago I tried to grab something and I just stood there thinking that my arm was doing something. But anyway, mind getting me another drink, we can keep talking about my stump after that. Um, right. What do you want? Let's try something classy. It's weird being in a bar and not asking for a fancy drink. Alright. Something classy. Sure. Let's just give it the good old classic. Here. This looks expensive, alright? I'm starting to have second thoughts right now. Just drink it. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel dizzy. That's nice. Is it? Of course, I spent so much time in hospitals and whatnot. Now I'm just living my life, you know. I want to feel good in the bed. No more being forced to sit quietly in quarantine room. Yeah, I can get that. Wait, quarantine? Type 2 nanomachine rejection patients are put in special chambers free from the nanomachine particles in the air. That prevents them from being assimilated and, aggra and aggravating their whole situation. To be fair, not all of my memories of the chamber are bad. I mean, I did spend 3-4 years in one of those places. Really? That long? Well, I didn't want to go for the genetic level treatment, so it was longer and a lot less expensive. I'm not going to complain though, I'm alive thanks to all that. And I left with so many fond memories too. So that's what you meant with the world feeling nostalgic and isolated places thing. Yep. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm just dizzy. Hey Joe, if I order two drinks, would you be willing to share one with me? Come again. To be honest, talking through the treatment and all that make me feel a bit lonely. Sorry if it's not something you can do, but I have to ask. It's not something I normally do, but. Uh, what the hell, sure. Really, yay. Alright then, I'm with a piano man and a piano woman. On it. Well then. Two drinks. Which one do you want? Do you prefer the man or the woman? I'm fine with either, really. Okay, I'll pick the woman then. Cheers. Wait, what did the text say there? Alright, this is getting weird. I said. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess I'm fine. I'm just dizzy and sad. Sad. I miss Lynette. Lynette? Boo. She and I were the only patients with nanomachine rejection syndrome in the hospital. We were out together every day. When it was time to eat, she was there. During visiting hours, she was there. 
Whenever I slept, whenever I cried, whenever I laughed, she was always there. When I lost my arm, she told me I could have hers as a compensation, that I could use it however I wanted. What happened to her? Tokyo flu. Something went wrong with her immune system and the flu started kicking in. They tried to rush part of a treatment to reduce the symptoms, but it only made the nanny machines go wild. It eventually got to her brain and... I see. Sorry to hear that. The worst part is that if they'd left her after she has been, I might have been able to spend an extra year or so with her. But all that work only got her killed sooner. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. She just vanished. That sucked. I miss her every day, you know. I say I want to forget her, but the truth is that I just want this pain to go away. It's been two years and I still feel the pain. Every second is just a second without her. It can get so lonely. Sorry, I'm not making you uncomfortable, Joe. You're not, don't worry. Still, sorry about that, I'm just... We had so many plans about what we do after we left. We were so close to being together without a pesky nanomachine rejection and... It's not fair, you know. Why do you get to, why do you get to be here where she doesn't? I try to enjoy my life as much as I can. I enjoy it for both of us, but it doesn't seem enough. What do you think? What do I think? Um... Well, I think... Of I think about my grandpa. Your grandpa? He was a harsh guy, really sincere, but not the one to mess with platitudes. It's not like he had a lot of enemies, but many people were cautious about him. But once he died, I never heard a single bad comment about him, not even from those who had to bow ma bad mouth him every now and then. Oh, really? Well, the best thing about death is that after you die, all the, wrong the wrongs you ever committed feel meaningless. It really makes you think about how petty some things can really be. Yeah. On second thought, it doesn't have too much to do with what you said, does it? But what I'm trying to say is, I don't try so hard, just live, you know. Be grateful to have your chance. I know that you're feeling right now, but it just will get better, eventually. All you'll remember is those happy moments. I hope so. This is going on for longer than I expected, to be honest. Sounds like you and your grandpa were close. He was my best friend, losing him is quite a blow. Do you have any regrets in regards to him? Mm, I guess not. I mean, it's not like I had a dramatic goodbye or anything like that. He died in the hospital bed while I was at home. But I don't know, I never had a heated discussion with him, so I don't have that problem. Sure, there's always a bit of I wish I could have told him this, but that's bound to happen, regardless of who you're talking about. Did you leave him that after a fight or something? No, of course not. Then you're luckier than most people. Oh. What I mean is, whenever you feel depressed, remember that she left your life while both of you were on good terms. Whenever you feel down, just try to hold on to that. Yeah, I can try that. Hmm. That cheered me up a bit somehow. Thanks. Any time. I should be leaving now. Thanks for such a lovely night, Joe. If you feel lonely again, just come back. I will. Well, this was an entertaining version. Ah, boss, what happened? I came to ask you that. Hmm? You just spent an hour talking to yourself. No, I didn't. There was a girl called Anna here. There was nobody here. I was actually coming to tell you we're gonna close for tonight, and there you were, chatting in thin air. A spirit to talk to. That can't be. She paid for her drinks. The register says the money came from your account. But all the drinks I served her. You mean the liquid that someone who is definitely not going to be me has to clean up the floor? But I... Chill, you're worrying me. Are you okay? The last thing I need is another employee who talks to herself. Yeah, I'm fine, I just... Are you sure there wasn't anyone else here? I even checked the security cameras. You worry by yourself this whole time. Maybe you're tired. You're probably just sleep talking really intensely or something. Yeah, maybe. Come on, I'll drive you home. Maybe they just need some rest. Yeah. What the hell just happened? Okay, so... We still don't necessarily know what's going on with her then. Hmm. But... That was everything then, right? Oh. This is new though, isn't it? Sunday, January 1st. 
Hey, Four, leave Gabby alone. Let us sleep. Happy New Year. I said, Happy New Year. I said, ha I heard you the first time. Didn't answer the first time, would you? Don't be rude. You trespass into my house, and I'm the rude one. I didn't trespass, I just showed up here. That's trespassing. Trespassing implies passing. I just appeared here, thus there was no passing. And how exactly did you do that? Oh hey, you're talking to me directly. Don't change the subject. I'm happy you're not pulling that wolf uh, telepath crap. You're the one being a telepath. But I can't read minds, I can read words, however. No, what I mean is that I'm not the one reading thoughts, so I'm not. Oh, forget it. Why are you here? I wanted to wish you a happy new year. So you were bored. But being bored has nothing to do with me wishing you happy holidays. But it helps. I won't deny that. Still, you deserve some congratulations, Joe. You closed off an old chapter of your life and grew as a person. You always deserve some cheers. In fact, let's make a toast. Mind if I grab a beer? I do, actually. I don't want to clean beer off the floor. You don't know if that's what'll happen. Trust me, I know. But the toast. It's the toilet counts. Let's leave it at that. Fine. Cheese. Oh, hey, kitty. I wonder if Four can see you. With catch you never know. He might see me, or might be able. He might be seeing an interesting speck of dust. Hey, Joe, let's play a game. What kind of game? Truth or truth? What do you mean truth or dare? No, dares with me wouldn't be too fun, I'm guessing. We ask questions to each other and now you can't lie. I don't even get your ever so precious dialogue choices. Isn't that nice? The what now? I'm thinking out loud, don't mind me. Why? You only keep your word on that. I don't lie. Fine, I'll play with you. Great, you start. Hmm. What are you? Just what are you? A cute girl. That's not what I meant. Well, I'm also from a Catholic, Catholic family, though I'm not religious. Not what I meant either. I'm also very gay and I like girls a lot. I should have figured out you wouldn't take the question seriously. Yeah, but did you think that maybe those are the answers I have? Hmm? There are things I know about myself. Why am I like this? It's not one of those things. I got out of the hospital, got hit by something, and here I am. Why are you in this state? How do I know? Sorry if I sounded rude, so she's like a ghost. Hmm. So it's just your charming usual self, Joe. Well then, my turn. Do you like your boss? I do. No, do you like like your boss? Mm-hmm. Both of you go to a romantic dinner, the move is right. Do you say you love her? Well, the mood escalated and you're both nude in a room. Do you have sex? Um, why are you so hesitant all of a sudden? Because you took me off guard. No, that's not it. Joe, do you really like your boss like that? I do. Okay, let's say you have the chance to have sex with Blondie's sweater pups. I do it. Do you see the hesitation now? I can't believe you just have a teen crush on your boss. It's not a... You like her and you love her, but you hesitated at the thought of fucking. You admire her and you want to rid her, but you want to go deeper. That's called friendship. Edging on, teen, edging on teen crush. Let's move on to the next question before you sort sacred. Okay, why am I the only one that can see you? Don't be so pretentious. You're not the only one that can see me. You're the only one among the people that close to you. Still, why? beats me. I don't even know why I'm like this. I do have a theory, though. Maybe the ones that can see me are the ones that wished I wish could see me. How so? The day I entered the bar, I thought you were cute. Maybe I wanted you to see me so hard that you weren't able to. It was hard to contain my surprise, to be honest. I've tried to get some people to see me, but sometimes something holds me back. So you make those things happen with your mind. It's still a theory. I don't have any solid basis for these speculations. I mean, Beth could see me, so... Who's Beth? A very nice girl. Speaking of nice girls, what's so cool about your boss? How so? 
That makes you all giddy about her. Mm hmm. Oh, she's so strong, you know. Not only physically, but mentally too. She's steadfast, reliable, charismatic, fun to be with. She's everything I'm not. She makes you feel safe while you're with her. I mean, how can you not see it? I haven't spent enough time with her, I guess. Jeez, you got pretty excited there. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just going for it. Screw this. Okay, let's get this over with. Your next word will be do you want do you watch me masturbate? Do you watch me the fuck? That question was gonna come out at some point. And the answer is yes. Um I'm building suspense. Just answer. No. Why not? I meant that I don't watch you masturbate. Huh. Why do you sound surprised? With the stuff you say, can you play me? I have a sense of personal space too, you know. And there's a line between pestering you and being an asshole. I'd not be against the idea of watching you, mind you. She did flatter me. Mm, take it as you will. I'm surprised you believe me now. At one point I just gave up and started taking you as you come. And you didn't start suddenly joking about how you watch me masturbate. That means it'd be some that it's something you wouldn't joke about and does not lie. You've been thinking about this question for a long time, haven't you? Maybe. Well, to ask something in the same vein, let's say you have the chance to have sex with any person you want. One night of action until your body crumbles. Who do you pick? Hmm. Your boss? I wonder. Blondie sweater pups? Please be quiet for a second. It's not a real of the Sphinx, yo. I guess I'd pick. Have you ever heard of an actress named Gloria? Oh my god. You too? Hmm. I've been a huge fan of uh, Gloria for a long time. She's such a talented actress and such a charismatic person. But more importantly, she's hot as all hell. Still is, thank god she didn't prune like any other actresses do. I'm surprised you pick her over everyone else. I mean, if I could pick anyone, might as well pick someone I don't even know. Yet. Yet? You might get to know her, you never know. True, I got to know an idol after all. Well, you're yawning. I'm sure it's all end boring, so it must be because of the hour. I'll let you be, for now. Hey Anna. Mmm. You have Happy New Year too. And if you want to bother me, I do get bored in here from time to time. Uh, yeah, Dad. You call me by my name. One second, Dad. Don't be like that. I'll take your offer and pester you more later. Hell, I'll do it even if you say nothing. Oh dear. Hey Joe, can you open the door for me? Just as a bit like how you came in. Come on, humor me. Fine. There. Thank you. Bye Joe. Take care. Sometimes I wonder if it's all a sign to stop drinking. Are you drunk now? <laughs> a bit. <laughs> okay. Well that was something interesting. No, I'm going to check again because, well, he said that was everything and that just randomly appeared there. No, that, that was really everything. Okay, that was something interesting. But yeah, that seems to be everything the game has to offer. Sadly, I enjoyed this game, it was fun. I'll definitely play the sequ sequel when it comes out. Now we also kind of know what uh, what Anna is. We learned more from that little uh, back and forth between her than from the uh, prologue thing. Um, maybe I will replay it at some point to get like all the endings and stuff like that, but that's not going to be for a f for a while. I want to move on to new games, stuff like that. Still surprised I got this long out of it though. But yeah, that's going to be Valhalla. I hope you all enjoyed this series and, well, see you next time.